Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duel Centurity doing a Watt deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because what do you know? We got Watt support and we finally have a Tuna Tuna, which makes me extremely happy. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of Notification Squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name, description, your single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month you're a patron. So without further ado, Let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Wat Tuna. This card is an amazing 3-up in the deck that you absolutely have to play as a 3-up because it's a Tuna Tuna, which is just amazing. This card has a really cool ability. This card can attack directly, and you only use each of the following effects this card once per turn. That the, at the end of the damage step, if your monster inflict battle damage to your opponent, you can special summon this card from your hand, which is a great ability just to instantly get this card out in your side of the field. And when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you can tribute this card on the field and one or more non-tuner monsters that you control from your hand or face up from field to special summon a Watt Synchro monster from your extract, whose level equals the total levels of those tributed monsters, essentially letting you Synchro summon into your copy of Watt Kirin using Watt Cobra and this card, which is amazing. We then play three copies of Watt Cobra. Watt Cobra is a definite three of the deck. It's probably one of the best Watt cards to see in your opening hand, because this card can attack your opponent's life once directly, and when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you can add a Watt monster from your deck to your hand, essentially searching out your copy of Watt Tuna to go full combo. We then play three copies of Watt Giraffe. Watt Giraffe is a definite three of in the build as well because this card has the ability to attack your opponent's life points directly and when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack your opponent cannot activate spells, traps, or spells or traps effects or monster effects until the end of this turn which is a great ability about this card. We then play two copies of Ma Hunter. Ma Hunter is a great extender in the deck because she has the ability at once per turn you can normal summon a level 4 light thunder monster from your hand except another copy of this card in addition to your normal summoner set which is a great ability we then play a single copy of Pa Hunter. Pa Hunter is great as well because this card is a similar effect to your copy of Ma Hunter which is why we play this card as a one of in the build. We then play two copies of Thunder King the Lightning Strike Kaiju. This card is a definite two of in the build. It goes with the Watt theme and it's great to be able to give your opponent a Kaiju to basically make it safe so you can attack directly, get rid of a negate, get rid of a really powerful monster that your opponent might have on the field and make it safe to attack your opponent directly so you can use some other effects but this card is really good overall in the build plus it goes with the thunder theme we then play two copies of gamma seal gamma seal is really good to work with your copies of your thunder king kaiju because sometimes you can give your opponent the turtle and we can get thunder king which is really cool because we get a 3300 attack point monster while they're left with a 2200 attack point monster so we're getting the bigger kaiju to be able to swing into the turtle so we can get a really big monster on the field so we can otk our opponent which is just amazing so so that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Double or Nothing. Double or Nothing is an amazing one of in the deck because you can make a rank four in the deck called Utopia Double to be able to detach material from Utopia Double, search out Double or Nothing, make a copy of Utopia on top of Utopia Double that comes in at 5,000 attack points, then swing with your copy of Utopia, and then negate the attack with Utopia's ability, drop Double or Nothing, and swing back in for 10 thousand attack points to essentially otk your opponent the only downside is your copy of utopia will not be able to attack directly but that's fine because we're getting a ten thousand attack point monster which is amazing we then play two copies of interrupted kaiju slumberer i feel like the best way to play this deck is with a small kaiju package to be able to destroy the monsters on the field bait out negates and be able to basically just deal with your opponent's field so we can just start swinging directly and get some really cool effects this card is really good in the deck to be able to use as a two of we then play two copies of a lightning storm lightning storm is really good to deal with back row that your opponent might have and attack position monsters this card is great in the build overall to be able to play with your copies of interrupted kaiju slumber so you can guarantee that you're going to deal with your opponent's field we then play three copies of watt train watt train is really good in the deck as a three of because this card has the ability to add watt cards with different names 
from your deck to your hand except Watrain up to the number of Thunder Monsters that you control with different names, which is a crazy powerful deck. You can basically get a multiple Rota off this card, which is so cool. And during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the grave, you can manage this card from your graveyard and then special summon as many Watt Monsters as possible with different names from your hand, which is a really cool effect to be able to use with this card. We then play three copies of Watt Kingdom. Watt Kingdom is an amazing card that we just got out of Age of Overlord that has the ability your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters that activate when they are normal or special summon. Well, they, they're in the same column as a card or a Watt monster, which is a really cool ability. I love that about this card that it's in the same column as a Watt card. And to be able to just use that ability is just absolutely insane. You can also target one Watt monster that you control and special summon a Watt monster with a different name from your deck then you lose life points equal to the special summon monsters attack. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn except thunder monsters, which is not that big of a deal because that's usually all we're summoning anyways, but this card is amazing in the deck as a 3F to help you with so many different plays. We then play three copies of Forbidden Droplets. Droplets is amazing in the deck because as long as you have a copy of Cobra, you're usually okay. So this card is really good at negating your opponent's field so we can just go in and swing directly. It's just a really good card overall. We then play a Bamboo Sword package in the deck. So we're gonna be playing three copies of Original Bamboo Sword. This card is insane and one of the best cards in the entire deck to combo with your Watt monsters because the equipped monster gains zero attack points, which is amazing. It also has the ability to win the equipped monster inflicts battle damage by a direct attack you can destroy all monsters that your opponent controls which is really good to be able to just attack directly with one of your watt monsters equipped with this card and destroy all their monsters but the best part is they gain zero attack points which is just really funny to me that they specifically say they gain zero attack points it also has the ability you can send this equipped card to the graveyard to equip a bamboo sword equip spell card from your deck to one face a monster on the field except a copy of original bamboo sword which is a pretty cool ability because we're also playing three copies of Cursed Bamboo Sword. Cursed Bamboo Sword is great because if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a Bamboo Sword card from your deck to your hand, which is a really cool ability about this card. We then play three copies of Golden Bamboo Sword, which is our draw package of the deck. And if we control a Bamboo Sword equip spell, you can draw two cards. And this is a not once per turn ability. So if you open up three of this, a Watt Cobra and a copy of Original Bamboo Sword, you get to draw six, which is insane. And has happened with me playing this deck. And it's crazy when it happens, which is just super cool. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get in to the traps. So for the traps, we're just going to be playing a single trap, and that's going to be a single copy of what cancel walk cancel is an awesome counter trap that says when your opponent would normally special summon a monster discard a walk monster negate the summon and destroy it which is a pretty cool ability about this card i feel like you only need a single copy but it's a great one of in the bill so that's it for the main deck guys let's get in to the extra deck So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start off with two copies of Watt Kirin. This card is really good as a two of in the build, and I absolutely love this card because it's usually what you're going into with your copy of Cobra plus Tuna. It has the ability this card can attack directly, and when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by direct attack, you can shovel both one Watt Tuner monster from your grave and one face-up non-Tuner Thunder monster you control into the deck, and if you do, special summon a Watt Sinker monster from your extra deck, except another copy of this card, letting you do further battle damage by attacking your opponent directly, putting a different Watt Synchro monster on your side of the field, which is really good while also recycling your resources. This card is an amazing two of in the build. We then play two copies of Watt Chimera. Watt Chimera is really good in this deck because this card can attack your opponent directly, and when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by direct attack, place a random card from your opponent's hand on top of the deck, essentially yada locking your opponent, so they're always going to draw the same card that they put back, which is really good because you can do this multiple times, which is just really, really cool to be able to lock down your opponent so you can win the game this card is amazing in the deck we then play a single copy of Watt Hydra. I feel like you only need a single copy of this card in the deck. This card can attack your opponent directly, and when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by direct attack, choose a card from your deck and, and banish it and add that card to your hand during the second standby phase after activating this effect. So you're probably not going to stick around in a game long enough to get it, but it's still really good because this card can attack directly, and it's a different level than your copies of your other synchro monsters, which is why we play this card as a one of in the deck.
We then play a single copy of number 60. Doubling the attack of a monster is pretty good in this deck. Being able to draw two and discard a card is great with the Bamboo Sword package. And being able to bring back a monster from the grave is super helpful about this card, which is why we play this card as a one of in the build. We then play a single copy of Utopia Double. Utopia Double is amazing in the deck. You just make this card detach material, search double or nothing, make a copy of Utopia on top of it. Utopia comes out at 5,000 attack points. Swing into an opponent's monster, specifically a monster, not directly. Negate the attack with Utopia's ability. Drop double or nothing make it 10,000, swing again, and you probably win the game because it's going to OTK your opponent. If they have anything less than a, or if they have a monster with 2,000 less attack points, you're probably winning the game, which is really cool. We then play a single copy of Baguska. Baguska is just really good in case you need to lock down the field. It's an amazing card overall. Play a single copy of Double A Zeus. Sky Thunder, which again goes with the theme, which is really funny about this card, but it's great as a board wipe in the deck. We then play a single copy of Sky Crisis, which again kind of goes with the theme, but it's really good because Typhon is amazing in the deck because you can make it super easy in any XZ deck or any deck at all, pretty much, which is just really, really cool. We then play a single copy of Underworld Goddess. Underworld Goddess is pretty easy to make in the deck just in case you need an out. I don't go into it all that often, but it's just an answer if you need it. We can play a single copy of SP Little Knight. You can change this card out for Nightmare Unicorn. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. You can change it out. But this card is just better than Nightmare Unicorn, which is why I profile with it, but you can change it out for Nightmare Unicorn if you need to. But it's really good because if this card is Link Summon using a Fusion, Synchro, Exe, or Link Monster as a material, you can target one card on the field or in either grave and banish it. Also, if your opponent activates a card effect, or activates any card effect, quick effect, you target two phases of monsters on the field, including a monster you control, and banish them until the end phase, which you're always targeting SP Little Knight to banish off its own effect. We then play a single copy of Some Summon Summoner. This card is really cool, because once per opponent's turn, quick effect, discard a card, target a thunder monster in the grave, except a link monster, and special summon to the zone this card points to, which helps you bring back your monsters from the grave, so you can swing directly later. We then play a single copy of IP Masquerina to be able to make your copy of Underworld Goddess or SP Little Knight, which is really cool about this card during your opponent's turn so that's it for this one guys i hope you enjoy this deck this deck is amazing i love that watt finally got some support especially getting a tuna tuna which is so cool about this card i absolutely love it it makes me like love this deck even more that we finally have a tuner tuner which is just so cool like a tuna tuner which is just hilarious i love that that they finally did that joke and made it a reality so that's gonna do it for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe Hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.